Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Munn, and this is more of Stellaris. We're doing aquatics. This is a different night. Uh, I've been running for about 20 minutes so far, just basically cleaning up the economy, reevaluating my uh, unity costs, upgrading various things as far as um, uh, increasing my fleet size and stuff. And it turns out that I was trying to improve the relations of someone who actually should be my rival and is marked as my rival. And that wasn't helping anything except for maybe staving off war. And since I've almost got these guys to the west in a position where they can turn around things, I have moved that, uh, that person over there. Now, right here above me, you can see that we just got our next ascension perk, which is where I'm bringing you into, Hydrocentric. No longer shall we settle for good enough replacements for our uh, oceanic abode. No planet shall be deemed fit for colonization until it has been thoroughly inundated. Okay. Ocean terraforming costs negative 25%. Now, we've almost terraformed everything we can, but not everything. But we'll have to terraform things in the future when we take them from other people. This allows the construction of ice mining stations on star bases. This is important. Which enables the expanded planetary sea decision on ocean worlds and flood habitat decision on habitats. Species with aquatic trait gain 50% greater benefits for living on an ocean worlds, but penalties for living 50% greater benefit, but penalties for living on non-wet worlds are likewise amplified. Alright, well that's going to be a problem. That's actually, damn, that's actually going to be a problem. Or maybe we save that for a little bit. Since we're probably going to go to war soon... I mean, I'm definitely doing it, right? That's the whole point of this run, but, like... I don't have robots yet. I can't put anybody else... In, or slaves. Okay, let me reevaluate what I got over here. The population... is suffering by how much? Uh, habitability 55%. So... Hold on. How much... It's pretty bad, alright? It's pretty bad for the species. Hold on, there's a species tab. Not that one. The one above it. Okay. Twenty percent. So that is... It should go 80... It should go 80, 60, 40. So that means it would have a 10% habitability. I think maybe that will be okay. Let's prepare to make a hollow theater. Actually, no, we need a. We need some place that's actually creating consumer goods. Consumer goods, then Hollow Theater. I don't know what exactly this will do for us. We came from the ocean. Our species evolved to be ideally suited to living in the depths of the sea. Even as we take to the stars, we have not abandoned our roots. The water is and shall always be our home. Now our evolution is complete. No longer shall we adapt ourselves to living elsewhere, rather than shaping the world suited to our needs. As we greet warmth of a new day, we know that nothing need part us from the ocean ever again. It shall be a home like no other. Okay. How does this work? You got any frozen worlds? Barren world. Barren world. Barren world, okay. Any place where there's already a star base would be pretty good. Gas giant. Gas giant. Frozen world. So if I go in here... Um... Ooh, ice mining. This system is plentiful source of... I'm sorry, This that's actually, like, behind my head, isn't it? I can't move the screen, so I'll read it. 
Uh, this system is a plentiful source of unexploited ice. By setting up a harvesting station here, we could see it put to better use, creating habitable oceans for our kind. Ice asteroids can be mined once, frozen worlds up to three times. Interesting. Unlocks the expand planetary siege decision. So maybe this is a temporary thing and mining station output plus 15%. Maybe I should keep track of what, what that's doing. Molten World, Gas Giant. Hello to you. I need to be... Oh, am I already rooting out the problem? Hopefully people are looking into that. I forgot that was a thing. Any frozen worlds over here? These mostly look molten. Toxic world. Frozen world. So I can make a star base, get a frozen world, and then get rid of it? Frozen world. And get that one on a star hold. Okay. Don't know exactly what that's going to mean for us, but we'll see what happens. We got a science ship not doing something. Oh. Person died. I don't think I have pew pew lasers. Oh, I just did an ascension perk so I can't grab a new scientist. That's so awkward. I gotta remember that's a thing. Better than it costing energy, I guess. We grow ever stronger. We grow ever stronger. <laughs> Glad I caught that before you left. They wish to speak with us. You guys want to establish an embassy? That's cool. Where are you? All right. Embassy origin. We grow. Have been a lot of wars in this galaxy. Maybe I made it too small. May have made it too small. We grow ever stronger. Okay, so now how does this work? Do I have to construct it? No. Okay, well. Expand planetary sea. Influence, time, and energy. Planet size of Doxy plus one. Ice will be harvested from system with mining station. Maybe I should only have one mining station at a time. Definitely want a big home world. On that note, we should Technology secured. Alright, we do have a stronghold. Alright, we're gonna go straight to cruisers. We're gonna get level four armors. Sorry, I clicked on that before I realized what the other options were. Armors. Consumer goods is not doing great. Plenty of jobs. Okay. 
Okay. Gas refiners turn minerals into exotic gas. It'd be terrible to have, especially if we can have it. Our star base is under attack. The birth of space piracy. That actually took a while. I'm sorry. This group is called Taxmen? Well, clearly the taxmen have to handle space piracy. I mean, clearly. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, piracy was way over there. My bad. So much for the taxman. I wonder if the ice world will, like, go away if we mine it too much? Research complete. I am intrigued by this very concept. Administrative park, edicts, base... I keep forgetting about edicts. Ooh, diplomatic weight and diplomatic compass. And we'll get one more envoy. It's nothing to sneeze at right now. We kind of need that. I, th I feel like we need it. We grow ever stronger. Alright, we're gonna need hangar bays at pretty soon opportunity. Land area C expanded. Using ice mine from Otteron system, I think is way over there. We've managed to expand the planetary sea of Doxy. Now, out of curiosity, Frozen world, toxic world, toxic. Does this have any? See, uh, I would expect from the Stellaris devs that planets, if you can only mine them three times, I would expect levels of planetary appearance to degrade. So if I go trade hub, trade hub, trade hub. Okay. That should be able to collect lots of things. Okay. I mean, that was the plan, the, the reason I put it there. Been refitted. Hey, reopened our borders. Cool. Those guys have declared rivalry. Okay, oh, hey, let me... Even though we're going to be modifying this look pretty soon, I think we had... Oh. Oh, we had new tech, but we did not. So that's fine. Let's do this. Alright, if I wanted to put a new um, starbase to collect, I'd probably put it here, I guess. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, one, two, three. Three out from everywhere. So if I put it here, I could get one out from everywhere. Okay, but if I put it there, one, two, if I put it here, one, two, so uh, no matter what I do, I gotta put three. So one, two, three, so here, one, two, and then three to any of those directions. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. The fleet has been refitted. Nice. Build mining station and research station. And come over here. Cloman Bastion has gotten the galactic market. All right. We have galactic market. I'll periodically be checking for slaves. They wish to speak with us. Okay, embassy established. Um, damn, we're not even near mid-game crisis, and I've already got, like, maybe the tech needs, to, maybe I need to slow the tech back down to 1 after the recent patches. I've been running at 0.75 because we grow ever stronger. I thought that was going to make the difference. Technology secured. Advanced shields, that's what I was waiting on. Anybody get a wormhole? It'll be, you know what? I, I, ooh, you have a wormhole. I could have a wormhole. Oh, I'm sorry, what are we voting on? Buzzword standardization, which increase trade value, but increase admin costs. Well, that's sure. I guess I'm in favor of that. You're still excavating this site? Were you waiting on me to click that that whole time? Because that's inconvenient. Hey, actually, if you're going to help with research, come down here. Because that's going to be a research planet. We grow ever stronger. Uh. Do soldier jobs reduce crime? Okay, we've got almost everything in all our systems collected. We got diplomatic weight, so that's good. We got another diplomatic envoy we can send. Let's do war exhaustion next. We'll go for science after that. I just paid for a scientist, so let's see if I can pay for another scientist. Hey, cool. Wormhole tech. Let's do that. Okay. Moving around the scientists and stuff. They become more xenophilic. That's cool. It's good for you guys. Oh wait, I have an envoy. Um, let's improve relations for what the hell. Oh, I got to build the diplomatic thing. I guess I gotta build it. I'm sorry, you have... Yeah. 
That's just a regular crystal mine. I can only support 10 buildings, but that's not... Oh yeah, there's the embassy complex. Okay, there will be upgrade... I can either build more city districts, which I don't need to do, really. Or I can wait and I'll get expansions to the cityscape. Um, but having said that... Huh. Well, shouldn't I see Crystal Mine? Max Crystal Mines 2? Huh. Anybody else got any cool things like that I should know about? Yeah, these actually say. Mining districts, research. Research. So this should be another research place. Max generators. Massive crevasse. Mines, mines, mines. And then research, I guess. You're getting the stronghold. Starhold, you're... Wait. You don't have that on? Okay. Why didn't you build the thing? Gotta get rid of the uh, gaps in the trade routes so I can start better protecting them. I will be needing those hangar bays though. Uh, that doesn't seem to have worked. Click. We grow ever stronger. Research station. Ever mining station. Research station. And then prepare to expand further. Hey, we got better steel. Okay. Corvette hull points? We have a lot of Corvettes. No, no, no. We need hangar bays to protect our trade route. Get our monies back in order. Money, money, monies. We do need to exploit exotic gases. However, is this thing waiting on me again? Barren grounds and vibrant skies. At some point, suddenly, a total catastrophic event gripped the world. Apparently, some sort of internecent struggle. Internecent struggle between. I don't remember exactly what that means. Between nation states led to a terminal exchange of weapons of mass destruction. Oddly. Although the surface is scoured and clean and dead, the sky is alive with shifting hues of perpetual aur aurora borealis. Huh. Okay, I need to pay attention. When there's an icon there, it means it's waiting on something. We grow ever Senate strong. is in session. Um. Hey, we're moving up to, like, kind of the middle of the pack. Diplomatic weight from economy. Mm -hmm. I don't have anybody improving my stuff at the Senate, but that's because I wasn't really going to care. Ever stronger. Did you do this thing? We grow um, ever stronger. We grow ever stronger. So we're at size thirty-one. Cool. Let's do it again. We want the biggest oceans. I hope it tells me when we've exhausted all the ones in a certain location. Ah, Star Fortress. I play defensively, so... Oh, wait. Exploit resource, though. 
Nobody is currently coming at us. We are about to have wormhole travel. Gender of tissues would be pretty good. I think the fortress might contribute to unity. No, but its upkeep is moats, which we don't currently. Well, do we? Actually, we do have some moats, don't we? No, we don't. All right, regenerative hull tissue. We'll put those on our star bases. Oh, and this is waiting on me. A group of large predators indigenous to Uflo 3 were recently discovered to have made a layer in the ruins of the being excavated. Significant setback. That's unfortunate. Intellectual booty. Wormhole travel. Let's go for more science. We gotta get ahead on science. We have some alloys. Let's click buttons. Oh wait, hold on. We've just gotten some ship upgrades, so we should have level 4 armors. Oh, we've got level 4 shields. Which we have the power for. Having better guns would be good. We're only focused on cruisers for the moment. Okay, so you need to be up to 20. Wait, hold on, what? Why don't I have the allies to reinforce? I cannot reinforce the fleet. Why? Why not? I have lots of fleet capacity. Why can't I reinforce the fleet on any of these? The hell? Hey, how are we doing, friend? Hey, we are friendly. Uh, requires positive relations. Friendly is not positive? I guess we'll get there. Who's insulting us now? You guys are insult. Well, maybe if you weren't insulting us, we would have friendly relations, you jerkwad. Okay. Subterfuge will give us what? Encryptions, code breakings. This doesn't really feel like- this feels like a Sixerloopian thing. This does too, but this actually feels more like a hundred month thing. Okay, strongholds will produce unity is kind of what I'm leaning at. I was hearing about that before. We haven't gone supremacy. Starbase capacity plus two, Starbase upgrade speed plus 50%. Yeah, that sounds really solid. And that's just by adoption. Huh. Are we on friendly terms with this guy? No, those are hostile. So we're basically just keeping everybody at bay.
Cartel. Okay, let's check out our trade routes. We got one trade route with some issues. Joe Rax. Which is getting issues in Shelock and a jam. Looks like. Wait, hold on. Shelock and wait, what? Oh, up here. Okay, well this needs to get upgraded and then... Um... Hangar bays. Resources hallucinogen removal. For real quick. went for peace project done not so special now was it atmosphere of snorlax has been filtered to greatly reduce the effects of the hallucinogen cool war declaration these guys versus those guys Okay. Research complete. What's that? Somebody's planning war against us? Fine citizen confederacy. Hi. How are you? So we now can do exotic gases. We're going to need civilian fabricators, I believe. Much as more, well, Corvette hull points would be really good. Especially with our current setup of all Corvettes all the time. Speaking of which, let's skip straight to cruisers. This is, this is, I don't approve of this design. Hey, hold on. Alright, we're gonna... We're going to make a point to upgrade the hangar core, but for right now... Yeah, let's do a bunch of smalls. Or I guess a bunch of mediums? A bunch of mediums. Because that should help with the type of ships that are being gotten. It's the highest power core we can currently have. With no auxiliary. This doesn't this just helps us dodge. It doesn't help us Oh, it does help sublay speed. Actually, this probably just needs a lower level of shield. 
Yeah, that's fine. Blunderbuzz? Alright. Blunderbuzz record- uh, we don't have gases right now. But- but we will. We will have gases soon. Go over there and then come back. Pet aliens. Alright, pet aliens. Is that the only place we have gases? Yeah, that's the only place we have gases. We grow ever stronger. We grow ever stronger. Let's, um... Let's grab a few gases. Just to get us started on being able to do the next level of defensive thing. Minarian warriors sighted. For several months now we've received reports of a small number of alien mercenaries and privateers opening up on the frontiers of our space. They call themselves the Minarian and are apparently exiles from a nomadic warrior culture inhabiting and overcrowded space stations in and around the Halamar system. Their passage near our space proceeded without incident, but they warned us against trespassing in Halamar. There is no Minarian central government to speak of. Well, we found Pahawa. I can see your noggin. Through your noggin. Okay. Hey, cool. The Great Khan isn't necessarily near me. The potential eventual eventual oh, 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 Great Khan. I do want these combat rolls, but like my space is very divided at the moment. Oh that's hyperdrive though, that's FTL, that's that's jump between, that's not travel across systems. We can't do the Black Hole Observatory yet until we can take care of these things, which we can't do yet. Uh, combat rolls could be a simple upgrade. Let's go for that. As much as I want more science. Ships ready for action. Hello, science ship. What were you? Oh, you. Oh, you had a scientist who died. You were doing the excavation. Fudge. Uh, do I need any of those right now? I need more special icon. Uh. Hold on, you can take... Somebody who's just having experience gain. Wait, but all I did was swap you between ships. Maybe you'll get more experience doing this? Ex ex continue excavation. Wait, who went to war? These guys and these guys went to war. Okay. The fleet has been refitted. Still losing out on food stuff. Has developed a new skill. Research Voidcraft. Size is it does, we're not getting a notification when our size goes up? No, we're not. I thought we got a little... 
that said what planet we had sucked it from. It was over here. Doesn't have to say how many times it's been mined. Oh, what are we voting on? We're still on buzzword standardization? Alright. Okay. Ships ready for action. Butterfly dudes have opened borders to us. We're working on these guys. You got us back to hostile? Why'd you get it back to hostile? Technology secured. Daily progress negative point oh three. Why? Can I build the diplomatic thing on any planet? Or can I only build it on my home planet? Home planet. Alright, we are needing more power soon, so let's do that. Resolution pass. Uh, one or more of your rivals is... Your intel on one or more of your rivals is failing. Oh, that's the guy who... No? I didn't remove the net spy network here. Um... Well, we've got the ability to acquire assets, so let's let's do that. We will need more spies. Okay, where's this construction ship and be doing thing? You need to go up to Star Hole. Hey, check and see if there's any frozen worlds in here. That's a gas giant. We grow ever stronger. Barren world, molten world, molten. All right, no we ice. Grow ever stronger. Empire size from pops negative ten percent. That'll increase our research speed, roughly. say, just to be clear, requires an ice asteroid or frozen world in the system. Okay, cool. So, I was wondering if I could build an ice mining station by accident in a place that didn't have ice mining, and apparently I can't. So that's good. I can't accidentally do that. So if I see the option, I can do it. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay, you're done over there. Oh, what the hell? How'd you... You were supposed to have done those before you left, dude. Good grief. Alright. For anybody who is watching later on YouTube, I want to thank you for watching. This has been Stellaris, presented by Improvision Entertainment. I have been Hunterman, and I will see you in the future, and I'll probably bring you back with War. If you want to catch the full playthrough without the minutes or sometimes hour worth, more or less, of gaps, in the recording session for when the um when i'm playing across and you want to have maybe talk to me advise me you see something that's obvious that needs to be fixed like people were doing last night and that they may do later today um if you want to do that you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash huntermon i don't play stellaris all the time but i play it every year um I, I, I have these clumps where I seem to play a lot of Stellaris two or three times a year for a few for a few weeks. And, you know, a playthrough can take a while, so that's what we're doing. So in any event, um, see you in the future.